Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in unit 3. We are going to see ripple carry adder. So far what we have seen is we have seen half adder, full adder and we have seen parallel adders as well. And today we are going to see very important question. This is ripple carry adder, right? So before going to this design of ripple carry adder, you want to understand what is the purpose of ripple carry adder, right? So the ripple carry adder is used to add n bit binary numbers, right? That is, if there is n bit of binary numbers, then you can add you can add those n bit numbers using ripple carry adder, right? And the name why it is called as ripple carry adder because it will ripple the carry from LSB to MSB, right? I'll explain that, right? And before that, you can see that as I said. Since it is an n bit numbers, it is used for n bit numbers, right? We will use n bit full adders, right? That is n full adders, right? For example, if it is a 4 bit ripple counter, you will use 4 full adders, right? Like that it goes on, right? And now you will see what is the operation of a ripple carry adder, right? And we know that normally in order to add, right, you will have an augment and add and operation, right? And before seeing this, you will see a small example, you can see here, right, I, I, I take this particular numbers, right, A and B, right, so this is A0, B, A, A1, and A2, and A3, and this is B0, B1, B2, B3, this is 4 bit binary numbers, right, so this can be added using, using 4 bit ripple carry adder, right, so it's 1, 0, 1, 1, so it's 1, 1, 0, 1, correct. So it's 10, carry 1, so it's 10, carry 1, so it's 10, carry 1, and it's 11, correct? So this is the output we are getting, right? Now you want to understand that the carry which is generated here, right, it is carried here, that is it is rippled throughout the carry, right? And this is why we call it as a ripple carry adder. We can, we can implement this particular Addition using ripple carry adder. The carry will ripple from LSB to MSB, right? And we are doing the same steps till we reach the MSB, right? That is the operation of ripple carry adder. That is, you can see the addition starts by adding the LSB, right? You got to do the addition LSB and you have to carry the carry. If there is a carry, you have to carry the carry to the next, next one, correct? Like that, the process completes till it reaches the MSB, right? And you can see the carry propagates from LSB to MSB. And that is why it is called as ripple carry adder. Right? And normally in order to implement a ripple carry adder, ripple carry adder does not have a separate design. As I said before, it is the design of full adder. Right? Depending upon the number of bits, we can add the number of full adders. Right? For example, the full adder design, you know that we can implement using the XR gate. And as well as this AND gate and R gate, right? This is the full adder design, right? The single full adder design, right? And for n bit ripple carry adder, you have to add, for example, if it is 4 bits, if it is 3 bits, then you have to add the number of full adders. If it is 4 bit, then you have to add 4 full adders. If it is 3 bits, you have to add 3 full adders. That is the design of ripple carry adders, okay? And if it is n bits, you have to add n number of full adders in it. Right. And the operation is same like that of the full adder. What is the full adder operation? You have two inputs, three inputs, right? Xi, Yi and Ca. That is carry in. Right. And it will produce two outputs. That is sum and carry out. So every full adder, the ripple carry adder, each and every full adder will perform the same operation. It has three inputs and as well as two outputs. In that two output, one is carry. Right. Now, I have seen this, we have seen this example, right, we will see what is the operation of a 4-bit ripple carry adder, right. So, this is the 4-bit ripple carry adder, okay. And this 4-bit ripple carry adder, you want to understand one particular thing, right. As I said, you have two inputs, right, you have two inputs, right. And third input is C in, right, and it produces output and as well as carry, right. And the operation you want to understand, right. This full adder, this full adder will works will work only if it receives the carry input from this particular full adder, right? Only if it receives C naught from this particular full adder, this will work. 
Similarly, this full adder will work only after receiving this particular carry C1, right? That is, this full adder will be active only after receiving the carry from the previous adder, right? So, the carry is rippling from this particular end to that particular end. That is why it is called as ripple carry adder, right? And apart from this, the work, working the work operation is the same thing, right? Like the full adder, okay? Now, I'll explain this with, with an example, right? For example, right, if the question is given, right, that is, if you want to add, right, three bits, right, if you want to add three bits or four bits, for example, consider this A and B, right, consider this A as B, okay, and as I said, this is A naught, and this is one, two, and three. So, I'll substitute this value. See, the question, this is a problem, okay? The question can be asked, right? Uh, implement a 4-bit ripple carry adder using for this particular operation, A and B, okay? So, what is the sum and what is the carry we produce, right? That is the, that, that is what we have to implement in this particular circuit, okay? First, you will substitute the values here, right? So, A naught is 0, sorry, A naught is 1, right? A naught is 1 and A1 is 0, and A2 is 1 and A3 is 0, correct? 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, correct? And this is B0, right? B0 is 0. So, B0 is 0, right? And B1 is 1 and B2 is 0 and B3 is 1, correct? Now, you have done everything, correct? And now, you have to do the operation. Now, before this, we will we'll do a normal operation, right? We will do a normal operation, right? Normal operation that is 0, 1, 0, 1, right? And you got to add that 1, 0, 1, 0. So now we will see how the ripple carry adder works. So it is 1, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1. So there is no carry. So only one, sum is produced, right? So now we will do this in this full adder, right? Now, you see here, the initial input will be 0, correct? So, here, what is the input, right? A naught, B naught and C. 1 plus 0 plus 0. What is the out output? S1 is equal to 1. And there is no carry, correct? So, now, you got to add 0 plus 1 plus 0. So, what is S1? S1 is equal to 1. There is no carry, right? And so, it is this adder, 1 plus 0 plus 0. So, it is 1, right? And there is no carry again. So, it is 0, 1, 0. So, it is 1, right? And now, you can see here, we have produced the sum that is 4, 1. So, that is 4, 1 and there is no carry and the carry is 0, right? So, this is how you have to implement. If the question is asked, they will ask only this particular, they will give only this numbers, right? That perform addition using ripple carry adder. What you have to do? You have to execute the normal addition operation. Then you have to add, you have to draw this 4 bill ripple, ripple carry adder and you have to substitute the values and you have to produce, you have to produce a result, right? That is what is the sum and what is the output, correct? Right? So, this is how the ripple carry adder works, right? As I said, right, the bits, right, it will, it will produce the output based upon the input which you are giving, right? And Based upon the carry input, it produces the carry out, right? The sum and carry, what is the carry input, right? Based upon the carry input, it produces the carry output, right? You can see here, only if you give the carry input, it produces the carry output, correct? Right, so if it is 0, then, right, by addition, right, if, if that is carry, if it produces carry, it will be producing the carry, it will, it will be rippling through the, the next bit, right? And this particular carry will be carried out this particular adder. And this particular carry will be carried to this particular adder, right? And only one important thing is this full adder will be active, will work only after receiving the carry. Either it can be 0 or 1, only if it receives that particular input, it can able to work. That is ripple carry adder, right? And we have seen what is 4-bit adder as well, right? 4-bit ripple carry adder, right? As I said, you have uh, 4 bits, that is, if you want to add 4 bits, you will go for 4-bit ripple carry adder and it produces sum and carry. The same operation, correct? And we'll see uh, what is the logic gate implementation. What are the gates involved in ripple carry adder, right? As I said, there is no separate design for ripple carry adder. It is the 
full adder right if it has four bit triple carry adder if it has four bit triple carry adder then you want to combine four full adders as i said right four full adders then what is the logic gates which is used for full adders that into four it will be used for ripple carry adder right so you'll see one full adder this is the normal operation correct a b c it produces carry out and sum out we have already seen this correct right so if it is three inputs 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 double 1 1 double 0 like this right based upon the addition it produces sum and carry we know all those things we have seen it full adder design itself correct right now listen so this is not the design of ripple carry adder i'm just showing you the gates involved in ripple carry adder right so you can see this is one full adder and 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 that is why it is called as four bit full adders right and you can see the carry rippling through it right this carry is carried to this particular input right and this carry is given as an input here and this carry is given as an input here right and you can see these are the gates which is used right that is four into full adder gates right this is one full adder gate you will use two and gate two xr gate and one one r gate right so that into four right so you will have two four six eight xr gate and you use eight and gate and you'll use four r gate for four bit ripple carry adder right and you got to understand the drawback of ripple carry adder right so what is the main drawback as i said before right you can see here in this particular expression right as i said right each and every full adder will work only after receiving the carry right only if this carry is generated this this will become active only if this carry is generated this will become active only if this receives the carry it will become active correct so it has to wait until the previous adder sends the carry right so the delay will be high in ripple carry adder right so it will not perform the operation parallelly right so each and every full adder will not work parallelly it depends upon one each and every full adders right the previous adders right so it is not performed parallelly so it will take more propagation delay right so it will be extremely slow right that is the biggest disadvantage of ripple carry adder which will be overcome in carry look ahead adder which is a fast adder right we will see that in next video right so today what we have seen is we have seen what is a ripple carry adder what is the main logic in it we have solved one particular problem in that and i have said what is four bit ripple carry adder right and how it works and what is the gates number of gates involved in four bit ripple carry adder right hope you understand the logic right thank you students thank you students thank you for watching kandipa indha video ungalku ellarku romba useful ah irukum nambara subscribe passionate professor and keep learning thank you very much